glad you're joining me today. I wanted to come on and read a story to you for Cinco de Mayo. And then at the end of the story, we're going to make homemade salsa. So the story I'm going to read to you today is called Chicks and Salsa. It's written by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Paulette Bogan. There were grumblings in the hen house at Nuthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The roosters took it upon himself to solve this problem. Mrs. Nuthatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoons. The rooster was perched on the fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Salsa. Led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. That night, the chickens ate chips and salsa, though nobody was quite certain where the chickens got the chips. The tasty tang of tomatoes and the onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, Ole! Very soon, there were mumblings at the duck pond of Nuthatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. With the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered garlic. That night, the ducks ate guacamole, though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got the avocados. The spicy scent of the garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard and the ducks said, Ole! The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of Nuthatcher Farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aromas, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. While the rooster distracted Farmer Nuthatcher, the pigs plodded into the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chilies. That night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. The delightful deliciousness of cheese and the chilies hung over the barnyard and the pigs said, Olay! As everyone knows, when a passion for Southwestern cuisine takes a hold of farm animals and so many sumptuous, spicy, savory scents collide in the barnyard air, it can only lead to one thing. A fiesta! The roosters got things organized, then returned to the fence post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The horses decorated the barn. The bull practiced his Mexican hat dance, though nobody was quite certain where the bull got a sombrero. And the chickens, ducks, and pigs snuck into the garden, but all of their spicy southwestern supplies were gone. The scallions had been stolen, the peppers had been pilfered, and the limes had been lifted. But there were slurpings in the kitchen of Nuthatcher Farm, stirred by the succulent, succulent smells in the barnyard. Mrs. Nuthatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. A saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen, and Mrs. Nuthatcher said, Olay! Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. That evening, the chickens ate their chicken feed, the ducks ate their fish, and the pigs ate their slop. But while the nuthatchers were at the fair, the rooster crept into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grapes and champagne sauce, though no one was quite certain where the rooster learned to read. A satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak, and the rooster said, Ooh la la. 
So now we are gonna make our own homemade salsa. And um, I know everybody's stuck home in quarantine right now, so some of you may not have fresh ingredients, and I don't have fresh um, garlic, but I'm gonna use garlic powder. You use what you've got, but I'm going to show you an easy way to make homemade salsa at home. And so, um, we'll get to it. All right, I'm using a um, food processor and I have all my ingredients already pulled out here on the table. And so I like to start with jalapenos. I've already cut the tops and washed and cut the tops off. And I have one peeled medium onion that I just sliced in half. And so you put it into the food processor. Of course, you're gonna need your parents to help with this. Make sure you close it all the way. cilantro and I have some that's just in a little seasoning um, container but I have fresh cilantro today and I have washed and rinsed it off and I'm going to put fresh cilantro and if you want it more mild just put less jalapenos I put three because my family likes spicy stuff but if you want it less spicy just put less jalapenos in it so I'm going to start with about half of the bunch of cilantro and see how that Some people just like lime, but I have just washed, rinsed it off, and cut it in half. And I'll use my little juicer here, and I'm gonna squeeze in a whole lime worth of juice in here. There's one half, there's the other half. And then I'm gonna put about, not quite half of the lemon half. I'm just going to put just a little squirt of lemon in there and just make sure I have all the sides in there. It smells so good because you can smell it. So I'm going to and I always start mine, I don't like my onions big and chunky in my salsa, so I always start with my onions so they're good and pureed by the time we get to the end. So it's looking really good. Now. You're gonna put a little bit of salt. I like a lot of salt. You can put to taste. You can start with some and you can always add some later. And I put just a little bit of ground pepper in mine. And I normally use fresh garlic and I would put that in at the beginning, but um, I didn't have any fresh garlic, so I'm gonna use just garlic powder. I'm gonna sprinkle just some to kind of coat the top part of the salsa here and mix that up real good. And then the last thing, I'm using canned crushed tomatoes because it's what I had at the house, but you can use canned whole tomatoes or diced tomatoes, whatever you have. The crushed tomatoes are already pretty chopped up really well, so you won't have to chop it very much. So I'm just gonna pour those in. of the larger cans, the um, 12 ounce cans. I'm just gonna pour that in. And then mix it up one last time. And it's perfect, it's ready. 
And so the only thing, um, I always taste it before we eat it. So it might need a little more salt or a, another splash of lime or something in there. So you can make it to taste and try it out the way that your family likes it. But this is just an easy recipe for homemade salsa. So I hope you get to try it. Thanks for watching.